payloads in APIs. Just like how we communicate with each other through verbal conversations, written communication through text messaging or letters, computer networks have their own way of exchanging information. From face-to-face -face conversations to text messages, every interaction involves sending and receiving messages. Now imagine this in the digital realm. When it comes to APIs, payload play a crucial role. They are the data parcels we send and receive, carrying the core information between clients and servers. So what exactly is a payload in an API? It is the vital data transmitted in a request or received in a response. Let's illustrate this with a real-world example. Take Twitter's API for instance. When you post a tweet using an app, the actual text of the tweet is the payload. It is what matters most in that communication. Similarly, when you search for a location using Google Map, the address you input is the payload. It is the key information needed to fetch the desired map data. Now, payload comes in various formats. From API requests to responses, each has its own structure. When you make a request to an API, you are essentially sending a message. This message or payload contains all the necessary information for the server to process your request. And when the server sends response, it sends back another payload. This time around, it is the data you requested or the acknowledgement that your request was successful. But what happens when things go awry? Right. In case of errors, the server sends back a failed response payload, indicating what went wrong. To sum it up, payloads are the lifeblood of API communication. They carry the essential data, ensuring seamless interaction between clients and servers.